Hello everyone, my name is Lucy Kangaloo and we are back today with another Kangaroo Kids session for older children. But remember, like I said last time, anyone can join in, anybody's welcome. Okay, today we are going to do character skills. So, can we think for five seconds in our heads, what exactly do we think a character is? Okay, five seconds. Okay. So I bet you've all got some absolutely wonderful answers and some wonderful ideas, so well done. Just to make it clear, a character is somebody that we become. As an actor, it is somebody that we play, okay? So what we're going to do today is we're going to be learning about how we can get in to other characters, how we can become other characters from being ourselves, okay? So I hope you're all ready to go. We're going to do a quick warm up now, um, and this warm up will definitely help us get some characters going through our minds. Okay. So what we're going to do first is this warm up is called Boom Chica. Okay. So it is a repeat after me. So I'm going to say the first line, and then you guys can repeat it back to me. So let's get started, and we'll just do it as ourselves for now. So we're doing it as ourselves. Okay. So repeat after me. I said a boom. I said a boom chicka. I said a boom chicka, rocker chicka, rocker chicka boom. Uh huh. That's right. One more time. And then we will say, this time in the style of, and we will become a different character. So let's try that again. And we're going to start with this time in the style of a queen or a king, okay? So a queen or a king, so I will go, I said a boom, I said a boom chicka, I said a boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. That's right, uh-huh, one more time. And this time, in the style of a pirate, okay? So, I said a boom. I said a boom chicka. I said a boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. Uh-huh. That's right. One more time. And this time, in the style of a fairy. Okay, so... I said a boom, I said a boom chicka. I said a boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. That's right. Uh huh. One more time. And this time, in the style of a pop star. <laughs> okay, so I bet I saw some wonderful, wonderful different characters there. Well done everybody. So this time in the style of a pop star. So repeat after me, remember? I said a boom. I said a boom chicka. I said a boom chicka rock a chicka rock a chicka boom. That's right. Uh-huh, one more time. This time is the last time and it's going to be in the style of your choice, okay? So you pick a character that you would like to become and that is how we're going to do it, okay? So we'll count down from five and then we'll begin. And you can do it along with me if you feel like you know it already or you can repeat after me, that's absolutely fine. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Have you thought of your character? Good. Ready and... I said a boom. I said a boom chicka. I said a boom chicka, rock a chicka, rock a chicka, boom. Uh-huh. That's right. One more time. And this time, we're going to finish. 
Well done, guys. I bet there were some really imaginative, wonderful characters out there. So keep going with all that fantastic character work because that is exactly what we're going to do next. So for this next part, I would like you guys to think in your heads for 10 seconds of your favourite character from a movie, from a TV show, it can be from a, perform a musical, it can be from a cartoon, anything. Anything that you like, your favourite character. Okay, so let's me let me give you 10 seconds to have a think. Thinking. <laughs> Close your eyes if you like, that can sometimes help. Just think about who you like to watch, maybe on TV or anything, in a game, it could be in a game too. Okay, have you thought of a character? If you have, that's great. This activity is called hot seating. You may have heard of that before. Usually when we're all together, somebody will sit on a chair and we will all put our hands up and ask questions to that person and that person is in role, okay? So in role means you are in character. So you are no longer you, you, have, you can step out of you and step in to this new character, this new person who you have chosen today. So well done everybody. So now you are in the hot seat and I'm going to ask the questions. So I will ask you the questions and then I'll give you a chance to answer the question and then we will really get an idea of who we are and who we have become today, okay? So let's do that now. Let's go from ourselves. Let's shake it all out. Shake it out and go from ourselves to a new character. In three, two, one. Whoosh. Okay, you are no longer you. You are a character. Okay, and I'm sure the character you've chosen is wonderful. Now I'm going to ask you some questions and you're going to try your best to answer them. Are you ready? Good, let's go. Okay, so your first question is, should be an easy one. What is your name? What is your name? Aha, what a great character. Well done, I'm sure that's, I'm sure there's some wonderful, brilliant names out there. <laughs> okay, so the next question, a bit more challenging now. What would you say your favourite activity is. So what do you like to do? Okay, what entertains you in your free time? Perhaps what you do as your job role? What do you like? Give you a little chance to answer. Okay, there should be some fabulous answers, I'm sure there are. Well done, everybody. That's really helping us use our imaginations. If you're finding it a bit difficult, don't worry, because it can be quite hard to be put on the spot, but I'm sure you're doing fantastically. The best thing to do is just to think of the first thing that comes to your mind, pretending that you are in a different character. What would come to their mind? And try not to think about it too much, because it really doesn't matter what you say. That's how it's gonna help you get into your new character with these new ideas that have just come off the top of your brain, okay? So perfect. The next question is going to be, as a character, what do you want, okay? So what is your goal, okay? So if this is a film or if this is a, um, a game or a cartoon, in general, what does this character want? What do they want to achieve? Okay, for example, do they want to annoy their sister? Do they want to fight the enemy? Do they want to get some, you know, find them, solve a mystery? What do they want? Okay, so that is your question. Ready to answer? What do you want? Okay, that's brilliant, guys. I bet you've all come up with some fantastic things there. Well done. Okay. And one more question. Oh no, there's two more questions. Who is your friend? Who do you hang out with? Who do you like? Maybe you don't have any friends. 
who are you and who do you hang out with? Who's your main friend in the film or in the cartoon or on the TV or in the game or whatever? Who's your friend? Ready? Go. Cool. Thank you, guys. That one should have been a, probably a quicker answer than some of the other ones. So well done. And the last question is going to get you a bit doing some movement, if that's OK. Um, the last question is, what would you say is your go to pose? And what I mean by that is if I saw you on the front of a advert for this movie or on the you know on the front of the game or whatever you're on what would you how would you stand how would you pose would you be strong would you be tall would you be brave would you be sassy how would you look okay it's up to you ready giving you five seconds to think of this super pose and when i count down from five to one I'll say pose, and that's what you'll do, okay? Ready, and ready for your super pose in five, four, three, two, one, pose. Fantastic, well done. I bet there are some amazing poses out there that really do show who you are and what you want and how you're gonna get there. Because that's important when, you, when you're doing character work, okay? So I'm gonna answer a question now that some of you might have. Why do we need to practise our character skills? Well, in drama and in acting, you might be asked to play a number of different characters. And sometimes you might not really want to play that character, but it's just good to like, get into the different kind of moods of different people and to show that with our bodies and to show that with our faces. And some key words for this, okay, some key words today, boom, boom, is facial expressions, which we did use last time. That tends to come up in drama a lot. So facial expressions really show who you are. And the next key word is gestures. Okay, so what am I mean by gestures? Well, if you know brilliant, gestures are things that we do with our bodies. So I'm doing some gestures now with my hands to sort of show who we are as a character. So our gestures kind of, they might be a wave. So you might be a welcoming person, so you'll wave. Or your gesture might be like, like this, so that you don't really want to talk to people. Gestures can be anything, okay? They can be shown with our bodies. They can be shown with an action, okay? And one last word, well, it's two words, but it's one thing, is our body language, okay? Has anyone heard that before? Body language. Body language is generally how we present ourselves with our bodies. So if I'm walking along like this, how much I look quite excited and quite happy, right? That's my body language showing that, and my face too. Um, but if I walk along like with my body all like closed off and like, nah, like I don't, I don't want to talk to you, that sort of shows that I'm a bit more, you know, like I don't really want to see anyone today. I don't really want to talk to anyone today. So our body language, we use it as people too, shows who we are as a character in that moment. Okay, so remember, facial expressions, gestures, and body language, okay? So what I'm gonna ask you to do now for our main activity of the day is I'd like you to walk around your space again like we did last time. So can we use all of our space in our room, wherever we are? So we're gonna walk around and I'm going to call out some emotions, okay? So I'm sure you're all familiar with emojis. So when I say an emotion, I'd like you to picture the, those emojis in your head and how they might look. So for example, happy is an easy one, right? So a happy emoji, a smiley face. With your body, I'd like you to show me that you are happy using your face, your body language and gestures, okay? So I'm gonna call that out and then you guys are gonna do it and we're gonna all do it together. I'm gonna do it too. Um, Let's go. So let's walk around. Yeah, so walking around, walking around, walking around. 
looking around and I'm going to say um, grumpy, okay? So I'm gonna do a grumpy face with a grumpy body and a grumpy gesture. So I'm grumpy. I might do this if I'm grumpy. I'm just really grumpy. <laughs> okay guys, I bet you're all amazing at being grumpy in a good way, <laughs> and using your acting skills. Well done, that's brilliant. Okay, so something to think of when you're doing that is how your, what body part are you leading with? That might sound a bit strange, but different characters lead with different body parts. So if I'm happy, I might sort of, you know, actually that's more proud, let's do this one. Proud, okay, so we are proud of ourselves. So show me with your body that you're proud. I'm proud. So what am I leading with? Can, if I'm walking around, can we all see? What am I leading with? You might lead with something different if you're proud. But I'm sort of leading with my chin, aren't I? I'm leading with my head. My head is held high, I'm proud. So lead with the body part that you think makes you look the most like the emotion or the emoji. Okay, let's do another one. Walking around, using all the space. We are going to do scared, okay? So we're scared. So scared. What body part are we gonna lead with today? If I'm scared, I think I'm gonna lead, like, lead with my head. Mm, I don't know if that one quite works. If I'm scared, what would I lead with? Maybe I would lead with my arms. Okay, because I'm scared and I'm trying to like push what I'm scared of away from me. So I'm like I'm following them because they're kind of protecting me. Okay, so we're scared, okay. And with your face, what would you do with your face? You look scared. Okay, brilliant guys. Well done everybody. Um, I'm gonna do a few more of those. So what else am I today? I am a friendly person. I'm friendly. I just want to make friends with everybody. And so we are going to show being friendly. So what are we going to do? We can add in some gestures with this one if you like. Okay, and I'm kind of leading with my shoulders a little bit i'm like yes i'm a friendly person and um, definitely if you didn't do shoulders that's fine because there are so many other body parts you can lead with when you're being friendly your your hand your arms high fives whatever we want to do to show that we're friendly people well done everybody for taking on that challenge okay this time when we do it i'm gonna add in like a situation so I'm gonna say happy, okay? And I'm gonna add in the reason why you are happy and you've got to show that, okay? So with your acting, with your face, with your body, with your gestures, you've got to show why you are happy. And if you think of a better idea than mine, you can use your own idea, that's brilliant. But my idea is just something that you can use in case you can't think of anything or you're just happy with it. All right, let's go. So guys, we're gonna do Happy again, but I'm going to give you a reason why you're happy. Happy, happy, waving. I'm really happy. You are happy because you found out that you have just won a competition. I don't know what this competition is for. That's up to you to decide, but you've got five minutes to get home because they're waiting, they're waiting for you outside your house and you're not home. So you need to run home because you're so happy that you've won this competition. You need to run home, okay? So let's go. Ah, I need to get home because I, I've won a competition. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna run and you're gonna leave your arms maybe because you're running late for something. Okay, well done everybody. Okay, the next one, we're gonna do angry, okay? And you are angry because You've just found out that you've just missed your favourite TV show and it's not even on catch up. You've just missed it. You are so angry 
because you really wanted to watch it. Okay, ready? Mm. I'm so angry. Okay, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna look? Nope, I am so angry. Someone's trying to talk to you. Don't talk to me, I'm angry. <laughs> or you might talk to them because you might want to let out your anger a little bit, let off some steam. So it's up to you. But well done, guys. Brilliant work here today. I'm sure there's loads of different emotions going on that we're all learning and that we're all practicing. And I'm sure you are wonderful at them. So brilliant work. Okay, the next one we're going to do is excited. Okay, and you are excited because why are you excited? Think of your own idea if you can. Why are you excited? Well, I'm going to give you one. You are excited because, <laughs> this is a bit funny, I don't know if you'd get excited over this, but I probably would. Your favourite food, you've had a really long day, you're so tired, and your favourite food is at home waiting for you, okay and you're just really excited about it whatever your favorite food might be you just want to get home and eat it okay off we go why are we excited yeah. <laughs> i'm so excited what are we leading with are we leading with our you can't really see but i'm kind of lift your knees up a little bit i'm leading with my knees because i'm like really trying to get home and my knees are leading the way because i'm so excited Okay, you might also be excited because you're having a party. You're going to a party and you're like, oh yeah, I'm so excited for my party. Or you might be excited because you have won like a big competition again. Anything, there are so many reasons to be excited. So I'm sure you all have brilliant ideas. Well done everybody. So now we're going to come back together. We had a really good go at all our different emotions today. Okay, so we have learnt facial expressions, we've practiced our facial expressions, we've practiced our gestures, and we've practiced our body language, and we've put them all together to learn how to be different feelings and different emotions. We have also chosen, before that, we chose our favourite character, didn't we? And we pretended to be in their shoes for a little while, and before that, we used our voices to change our character. There are so many ways that you can change yourself into a character. And what we did today was quite overdramatic. It was quite an overdramatic way of doing it. And that's fine when you're first sort of getting into it. But you can always turn it down, tone it down a little bit as well. And you can become something a bit more like yourself, a bit more naturalistic. Naturalistic is another key word. It's naturalistic. It's like something you would watch on the telly, like a drama or something. Or over dramatic seems to be what we were doing today, and that is more comedy. That's something that usually makes us laugh. So when we were doing angry and we were like this, we were so angry, <laughs> that probably would make your audience laugh rather than feel angry with you but when you're showing anger in more of a um dramatic way it would actually be quite realistic okay so there's so many different ways to show ourselves as a character and we have so many different themes okay so well done for your really hard work today and thank you for watching another kangaroo kids video and i'm sure you all did brilliantly but before we go we're just going to close our eyes if you would like you don't have to and i'm gonna go through an extra challenge you can do at home if you would like okay so if we close our eyes and we imagine what i'm going to say so what I would like you to do, if you want, is to create your own original new character. So it can be inspired by something you've seen before, but it's got to be new. Okay, and if you would like, something that really good and helpful to do is to draw your character on a piece of paper and label your character with different... Um, emotions and different feelings and 
label what they do and where they live and where they're from and everything that you can know about your character because then that will really help you become them okay and then after that you can perhaps have a go at the hot seating activity again with your new character and then you could even create like a little short piece of drama with your character so you could do thought tracking so you could talk to the camera you could just do it without a camera you could talk as your character and tell us about yourselves okay um if you have amazing drawings or anything you want to share with us let us know but for now that is all for today on character skills and i hope you have had a really good time and i hope you will do more of this at home too so thank you very much everyone and we'll see you next time for another kangaroo kids video but well done and enjoy the sunshine and enjoy your week all right bye